Whose goddamn green baby is that? <coughs> Shrek. What's your problem with me? Okay, guys, don't freak out, but I have a crush on someone. Max, help me. What am I? Don't be afraid. He'll be okay now. What's that noise? I don't know, dear. I think one of our neighbors has a new baby. That can't be right. Sounds as if it's right outside our... Doorstep! Dear! Uh, what is it now, Marcus? Oh! Did you order a baby from Amazon? No, I did not order a baby from Amazon. Honestly, Marcus, what do you think I'd go on there to do? I mean, I, I don't know, but I thought we agreed next time you say you want a baby, we're gonna get a cat. I'm not raising another brat. Have a heart, Marcus. The poor thing's clearly been abandoned. Now let's get a look at you, sweetheart. Huh? Oh, well, aren't you just unique? Well, I can see why she was abandoned. Marcus Sarabin is so help me God. Come on, May. Can't we just call the police and be done with it? I really don't want to raise another brat. What happened with Roy was unfortunate, but think about it. What do you think is going to happen to her if they put her in the system? For crying out loud, she's green! <laughs> you know, getting a closer look at her, she doesn't really look like a brat. See? We could do some good by her. Raise her right. Okay, but I ain't changing no diapers. Oh, yes you will, Marcus. Marcus! Open wide! I guess it's time we finally meet. Hi, I'm Jerry, and that precious green bundle of joy over there is me. I grew up in a loving family, but I couldn't help but want to be just like the other kids. My parents tried to raise me up normally, but the world isn't as forgiving. We lived in a very uptight town. If you were weird, you weren't really accepted. Marcus, whose goddamn green baby is that? She's mine, Miller, so don't make me punch your teeth in. I wasn't trying to be rude or nothing, I just thought, well, why don't you let your little weirdo play with mine? That's when I met Leah, my best friend in the whole entire world. She had a stutter, that's why some of the other kids didn't play with her. But it was fine, we only needed each other anyway. Until, of course, Evan came around. Huh? Help me! Ch 
Gee, that was close. Well, we never would have been in trouble if it weren't for you. Calm down, Leo. We're fine now. Why were they chasing you anyway? Nothing really. Called me a nerd, so I got my mom to kick them out of my treehouse. You, you have, have a treehouse? Tree yeah, you can come see it if you want. It's not like I have friends anymore. Heck yeah. Sh Shuri, didn't your m m mama ever tell you not to follow strangers? Come on, Leah, he seems cool. He hasn't even noticed I'm green. What the heck? You're green! I thought you didn't care. Plus, you didn't say anything about Leah's stutter. First of all, I wasn't wearing my glasses, and second of all, I thought she was just scared of me. H how bad is y y your eyesight? You n need a checkup. Might also be color b blind. <sighs> Great. I got stuck with the weirdos. H hey, y you got bullied too. But that wasn't my fault. It's not our fault either. This is so dumb! We're all weird here, so why don't we just be friends? I guess I do need more test subjects. N no she said friends! Have you never had a real friend b before? Well, normally people just want to hang out in my treehouse, so I guess no, not really. Well, here's your chance to make some. Huh, I guess it would be nice to have some company during the apocalypse. Come over here, let me measure you for your space tube. Sweet! Shuri, no! Let's get out of here! He's weird. We were all weird. I guess that's what made us such good friends. Eventually, it was time to go to school. My parents homeschooled me up until secondary school, thinking it would give everyone in town time to get used to me. It didn't. Okay, class, new year, fresh faces, but homework's still the same. I won't have a repeat of last year where you started skimping out halfway through the year. Jeez, Leah! Tell your dad to stop being such a prude! I'm sorry, Phoebe, but what do family relations have to do with homework? Well... I'm sorry, Mr. Miller, but we have some new students here. Isn't it a bit rude not to introduce them? You can introduce yourselves in your own time. Right now, we have... No, it's okay, Mr. Miller. I knew he was only trying to protect me, but it was better if I just face it head on. Hi, my name is Zuri, and as you can see, I'm green. I don't know why, I just am. But despite being different, I hope we can be friends. <coughs> Shrek. <laughs> or not. That's it, Bennett. Head back to your seat. And if there aren't any other interruptions, I'd like to continue my lesson. Well, I tried. It's uh, okay, Shuri. They're s super dumb. Yeah, but she's probably gonna get bullied. Evan! Did you see the way Harper looked at her? She's definitely next on her list. You don't know that. Hey, quiet back there! Yeah, Leah. Do what Daddy tells you. Evan was unfortunately right. I was on Harper's radar, all right. <laughs> What's your problem? 
problem with me? Uh, you're green? Wow, this is news to me. And she's right. Look at all this green skin. Where did that come from? <laughs> and you're weird. What, what's wrong, Phoebe? Having trouble with your words? Shut up! I think you should take your own advice, seeing as you have nothing intellectual to say. What the? Harper! Uh, we're going, Phoebe. Let's lead the freak show to their meal. Sorry about them. Lunch is on me next time. Oh, I th think our green f friend here is turning pink. What? Ew, Zuri! Don't be fooled by that! He's just as bad as the rest of them. She can't fall in love with a jerk like that. What? Ew, I don't even know him. Why would I fall in love? Um, no one said anything about you falling in love with the, the guy. What? But I literally just heard Evan say it. N no I didn't, did I? Oh, okay guys, no fighting. Instead, uh, le let's talk about how we showed those b uh, b bullies who's boss. Come to think of it, before you came around, we didn't really stand up to them. Yeah, cause y y you always ditch me! I do not, I just uh, strategically remove myself from the situation. Fake friend. friend. No, I'm with you guys. Trials kids for life. Oh, really? Why don't you b b buy us c cola to prove your allegiances? What? You guys? You're not seriously going to make your buy your cola. Mm, I don't know, Leah. I feel like sitting at another table. Well, me too, but, but maybe we can find some other smart guy with a tree house. I'm fake? You guys are the fake ones! We l love you, Evan. Yeah, yeah. One thing was certain, we had each other, and it was going to take a lot more than a few bullies to take us down. Or so I thought. Oh hey! Jury, was it? Yes? No need to be suspicious. I just wanted to pay you back for what the others did to you. You mean what your friends did to me. You know I've been listening to everyone, and you guys kind of suck. You should hear what they say about you. I don't care what everyone says about me. There's nothing I can do to change it, so I can only accept myself. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Well, you did. Don't you get it? My whole life, people judge me before they get to know me because of the color of my skin. Well, maybe they should stop. I wouldn't mind getting to know you. Really? Yeah, my friends aren't here right now, so let's quickly get that meal. Okay guys, don't freak out, but I have a crush on someone. OMG! Spill! A crush? On a person in this town? S stop Evan! Yeah, stop! Not everyone is judgmental. Max isn't. Ugh, him. Oh, be real, Zuri. Everyone judges everyone. And they judge us even more because we're different. Well, maybe I don't want to be different! Yeah, how's that going to work, green skin, remember? 
You really think you're so much smarter than everyone else, but you're really just a jerk, Evan. G guys, st stop. Stay out of this, Leah. Like you're any better, you pretend to be this positive person when really, it hurts when other people call you names. Which is why I don't understand why you would have a crush on someone like that. He's not like that. Oh uh, yeah, you do want to know what he calls you behind your back, an alien? Evan! You take that back! Why, you have no problem with Max saying it behind your back, so why don't I just tell you to your face? He doesn't talk about me behind my back. You're even more naive than I thought. Just stop talking to- Phoebe, what the heck? She's cyan. You were supposed to make her normal. I don't know how color theory works. <laughs> I guess being a smurf is better than being an alien. Isn't that right, Max? Max, help me. <laughs> yeah, she looks so much better now. You heard him. I'm not, I'm not. Shut up, shut up. Hi, right, what's going on here? Don't you dare! Come on, Zuri. Let's get you cleaned up. No, let go of me! I'll never forgive any of you! Are you happy now? I admit, I shouldn't have said those things, but... Sorry. I'm sorry. Get out of my head! Don't look at me like that and pretend like you're sorry! What's going on with me? Hey dear, why are you home so early? Did you have a bad day? Yeah. Well, that makes two of us. I just got off the phone with Miller and apparently you cut class. Yeah, something happened. I don't want to talk about it. Zuri, honey. No, that's not how this works. You begged us to let you go to a real school, and here you are at home. Do you know how difficult it was to convince a principal that letting you into that school was a good idea? I had to give him a patch of my best grapes. Well, I'm sorry you wasted grapes on me. I can't do this anymore, May. You promised we wouldn't raise another brat. I knew we should have gone to the police that day when we found that baby. Marcus, what is going on with you? Is it Roy? Did Roy call again? What baby? And what does Roy have to do with any of this? What, sweetie? How, how'd she find out about that? What do you mean? You literally just said it! It's me, isn't it? I'm the baby! It finally makes sense! Why would you lie to me? Nah, we just wanted you to have a normal childhood. Look at me! I'm anything but normal! This is such a joke! What does it matter if you didn't come out of me, Jerry? You're still my baby! Yeah, no matter how weird you are! Marcus, what is wrong with you? I don't want to be weird. I just want to be normal. Marcus, you really dropped the ball on this one. Now what's this about Roy? 
<laughs> I didn't ask to be green. Why can't people treat me normally? It's so stupid. What? What was that? Was that me? Did I do that? No, that that's impossible. It can't be. But then again, don't tell me. All those times I thought people were talking to me, I was actually hearing their thoughts? Ugh, come on, just move! Sister.